Okay, sorry about that guys. Um, I got a phone call and I guess it somehow interrupted the video. So anyway, I'm not really sure why I left off um, on the last video. But anyway, I'll just kind of go into um, picking up and this is going to be interracial dating part two video. Um, so um, I think I was kind of talking about uh, just being accepted um, in your family and or the family whenever you're dating someone that's uh, of the opposite race um sometimes people don't realize um how uncomfortable they could make you or be making you uh whenever you um are dating someone of the opposite race um you know and for me <clears throat> it's different because um i have a really strong sense of and ability to pick up someone's like i guess spirits or vibes um and i just kind of sense when something's off i get an uneasy feeling and so um uh um oftentimes i would get that in certain situations when um just being around you know people and and I, I'm, I'm trying not to like you know name names or anything like that in this video because I just don't think that's important um, however um, just talking about it um, it just helps me in so many ways um, so anyhow um, there but there's always been conversations that Justin and I would have um, you know I can remember asking him one time it that uh, I was like hey do you think your family would um, accept me more if I was a white girl? And he paused for a minute and he was like, you know, well, of course things would be different, Sandra, or whatever. And um, and I was just like, oh, wow. Um, and I'm not talking about anyone. Um, I still have a, a relationship with, uh, you know, some of Justin's relatives and um I, I will maintain those relationships i will not say that they never accepted me um or they never treated me to any differently um we actually you know still talk uh some of us actually still talk to th today and i will maintain that relationship i love them um as my own um if there is anything that they ever need from me i will always be there for them um and that's just that um but on the other hand, um, <clears throat> you know, there are some relatives that, um, you know, after Justin passed away, that was that. Um, they don't maintain contact, you know. Um, they don't contact me to say, hey, how are you doing? Or any of that. So that's just that. Um, however, um, so that just kind of just lets you know, you know, how and what a person thinks and thought of you the entire time. And, you know, Grant, Justin and I we were together like about eight years. So, um, you kind of get to know people in that time frame. Um, and, you know, you say family, but yet, um, you know, everyone that's considered family doesn't treat you as family or you don't consider to be family. Um, quote unquote so um, you know he has friends that have always accepted me don't look at me any differently never looked at me any differently have always treated me um, if they see me right now today you know um, I have friends that have reached out to me um, that still reach out to me today some of his friends um, you know if they saw us anywhere they treated us as such they like it was just that you know I was just another person not as if you know um oh my god you know but unfortunately growing up in Bogalusa you know we probably seen you know this a lot more whereas you know going into bigger cities it's not a big issue um when you you know choose to date someone of a different race inter you know, interracial dating um but smaller towns normally it's more um it's more of a um a light is shined more on it because you see it um, and it's more so that people know each other so you kind of know that person's background and where they come from and so on and so forth so but it's um, interracial dating is a topic that um, we kind of just sweep on the rug we really don't talk about it much because who knows people just 
I guess, as long as it's the elephant on the wall, I guess, uh, an ele elephant in the room, I guess. Um, you know, you see it, but you don't. Um, however, I think we should talk about it more because, I mean, we have kids that are growing up. Um, at the end of the day, people are always talking about, I'm looking for love and this and this and that. And, you know, when am I going to find Mr. Right? Well, you know, Mr. Right could have been um, Brad or, um, you know, Julian or whoever that you looked over because, you know, you said that, oh, I'm looking for that strong black man. Um, or Mrs. Wright could have been um, Shaquita or, you know, or um, some, you know, some Quan or whatever. Um, but you chose to overlook that because at the end of the day, you, your family would disown you. Um, at the end of the day, you should be happy in your life and your life is your life and you should date who you so far choose to date, not based on what mom says, dad says, sister, auntie, uncle, brother, whatever. Because at the end of the day, when you go home in your lonely apartment or home and you don't have anyone there with you, they'll be over there with whoever they over there with and you'll be over here with whoever you not with because you chose to let mom and dad uh, keep you from being unhappy um and that's just my thoughts on on that um <clears throat> yeah is it really hard to date someone of the opposite race um it's not really hard because i mean you know you keep people out your business and hey that's that um but um is it really let me just get to the down and dirty because I'm just going on here and I'm just, you know, one. When people go out in public or whatever, let's just be honest. Mind the business that pays you. If you see a couple that walks into a restaurant and say you're a waitress and you come to the table and um, this um, white guy is sitting with his white girlfriend, um don't act like she's not sitting there because that's so disrespectful of you because you feel like oh it would be he would be so much better off if he was dating a white girl i mean that's just crazy you know that just blows my mind those are some of the things that i've dealt with as um you know while dating and married to my husband you know it's happened um you know i've even also dealt with um <laughs> i've dealt with Black people like making comments about my husband. Actually, when I worked at AT&T, um, and I, man, this experience, and my husband told me to quit that job. This was before we got married. I was FaceTiming him. This is when we first started dating. And um, my supervisor at the time, um, I was on my break, on my, on my time, in the lunch break, in the break room. She walked in, and so she saw he was on my FaceTime, and she was like, you know, like, looked crazy, like, and she was like, who is that? And I was like, oh, this is my boyfriend. And she was like, you serious? And I was like, yeah, why? And she was like, so she, when she waited so I got off the phone, but when I came back to sit down um, at my desk to go ahead and log back in, she gonna say, oh, you sleeping with the master. Like, what the, who the, said something like that? And so when I told him, you know, like, he was like, you need to get, he was like, first off, you need to say something to somebody about it or whatever. And I was like, you know what? You know, it's not going to be, they not going to do nothing or whatever to her or whatever. And that was it because she's she a supervisor or whatever. He was like, you don't have to be sitting up there dealing with stuff like that, like kind of, that kind of treatment. He was like, quit that job or whatever. So I did um, and found something else or whatever. And um, that was that. But so it's just not like, you know, it's just not like, you know, you have to deal with, um, you know, one race saying things. You deal with both races on both sides saying things to you about who you're dating. Um, you know, and you, it's the same thing. You can walk into somewhere and people looking at you like, why are you with, or guys, 
black guys coming in your inbox saying, oh, what you dating? You know, why you dating a, a, a white guy or whatever like that? What the fuck he can do for you that I, I can't do? Obviously, he doing a lot for me that you ain't doing. Because, you know, that's who I'm with Um, at the end of the day. Like, you know, or talking about I'm this strong black man. You know, you need a strong black man. A strong black man that's going to cheat or beat, beat my behind? No, I don't. No, keep that over there. Or a strong black man that's lazy to get out of bed, don't want to go to work? No, well, no, I don't. Keep that over there. No, no. So, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's some of the things that you deal with. And I never looked at dating um, and, you know, that, that there's a misconception that people that, you know, that comes with dating someone of an opposite race. You know, people look at when, um, most of the time when um, someone white sees uh, a black girl with a white guy, they ultimately think, oh, she's with him for what he has or money or whatever like that. Let me tell you, when my husband, when I first met my husband or whatever, he didn't have anything. He was renting an apartment, or not renting an apartment, he was renting a house on 7th Street in Bogalusa that came furnished with nothing in it. He had his clothes and he had a job and he had his um, little Yukon Denali that he had bought from somebody for like $3,000 that had dinner on the side from a deer running into it. So he, yeah, he had a job. He, you know, he, or whatever, he was working, um, but he didn't have it, anything together. And like, he didn't even like know like a lot of things to how to get together. Like I, you know, was with him and showed him, okay, and taught him and told him about things or whatever like that, you know. So at the end of the day, don't often think that because she's with this person, she's with him because of what he has or can bring, this and this and that. That's so, that's a, that's mis, that's a misconception that people often make, and I'm so sick of it. <clears throat> You know, or when you see the black guy, the the black guy with the the um the white girl, and she's you know this and this and that, they make the oh he she's taking care of him. You don't know that. Get out them people business. She ain't. He could be he he could be making hundreds of thousands of dollars. You don't know what that what they got going on or whatever. So stop it. Just let's let's stop that. Those are misconceptions that people make. Let people date who they want to date at the end of the day. It's not your business. Let's go into 2021 and let's stop, you know, judging people and having these misconceptions in our mind when we look at people and this is often what we think and ultimately what we think because you're wrong, completely wrong. Um... You know, and that's just that. Um, so anyway, I hope that I've kind of shared with you guys. I kind of want to, you know, go into this a little more. Um, and I will do another video. Um, but I'll go ahead and end this one for today. And if you guys have any questions and answers, please feel free to um, comment, send messages or whatever. Um, I hope I kind of share with you guys some information. And look, hey, I'm excited about this. So, you know... Continue to um, continue to follow me, vlogging with Sandra Scott. More to come. Y'all have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day.